Hello guys. Hope you guys are having an awesome weekend. It was gorgeous here uh, this afternoon. It has since gotten like cold again. Like I got goosebumps all over my legs. I had to close my windows, but I had them up all day long and the house aired out and it was all lovely. <clears throat> but anywho, uh, I had planned on going thrifting today, but I didn't get up and about until later than I like to because when I go thrifting, I want to be there for hours and hours and hours. So I ended up just hitting the Dollar Tree in 99 cent only, and I picked up a couple of things that I'm going to show you guys. And um, some of the stuff that I picked up, I'm going to use for dinner tonight, which I'm also going to uh, tape and uh, put up after this one, I guess. But let me just get into it. Um, I'm going to start off with the Dollar Tree stuff, and I'm just going to grab my bag in my bag. Um, <clears throat> I picked up two of the Color Easy hair uh, dyes. This is in medium auburn. Now I have really thin hair and usually one box will completely saturate my hair. But because I've never used this brand before, I don't know if it's thick or thin or whatever. And my hair is kind of long now. So I went ahead and picked up two of them and I've always liked red hair, auburn hair. I think it suits my skin tone. Um, plus I think it's a safe bet. I mean, I could go extreme and go blonde, but Honey, unless I'm from Spain and my eyes are blue, I have no reason trying to go blonde. Um, not the blonde I like anyway, which is that blonde. Doesn't work. But I definitely want to do something with my hair. I told you guys that I'm going to chop it off here and I'm trying to condition it for the chop away. But uh, I am seeing gray hair all up in my head and it is starting to upset me. So until I get my hair styled, I'm going to touch up with this. I'm hoping... I don't react to the hair dyes. I've never reacted to a hair dye, but with my allergies, I never know. And um, I'm hoping this is just simple color, but I got two of them in case one isn't um, enough. And I see a lot of you guys hauling that particular hair dye. So, and y'all's hair looks awesome. So um, I went ahead and grabbed one. I finally found one of these little hair buns in brown. I have found every color except brown, black, white, white, uh, and rainbow colored. I finally found a brown one. I'm so happy about that. I picked up some <clears throat> three-way bulbs because the lamp in my bedroom is a three-wayer and it takes me less than a second to get to turn my lamp on. But just the fact, it's my OCD, y'all, that it goes click, click click on the third one it finally turns on is driving me batty so i would love to be able to click and i have a dim and click in a brighter and click the brightest that i like ocd plain and simple but i got two of the three ways which i needed um i finally found something that you guys have been hauling and i was really happy about it's the maybelline uh, master smoky by their eye studio line and it's these um eyeshadows uh, i'm not a real huge fan of cream eyeshadows but when you can do the lining around your eye and use it as an eyeliner or just as a fill in in the crease i think it is awesome and this is the blue blaze now y'all know me in blue i don't wear it well because of my skin tone and i always say it looks like somebody punched me in the face but this is a really really nice dark blue and i'm hoping that'll work i found the emerald fury and i think green with brown eyes looks well and i think i can wear some greens not all greens because again it looks like i have been knocked out but i found the green one and then the smoldering violet which i'm going to open right now because it just sounds so friggin pretty and i love purple it's my favorite color in the whole wide world next to orange yeah i said orange i know it's crazy right but i love orange a bright happy in your face orange i love it so let's see what the color looks like let me get over here a little crayon like that i don't know what the light in here is gonna do that is a really deep purple it's kind of eggplant it looks brown why am i even trying to do a color swatch in raggedy light it is a very, very eggplanty color. Sorry, it's not showing up. One of these days, guys, I'm going to set myself up. YouTube-alicious. This is the green. 
Let's see if I can, if the green will bear any better. These are really, granted, they are smoky. The green is showing up black. Well, you guys have already hauled these, so y'all know what they look like, but it's not doing it justice. They're really dark. You know what? I'm curious about the blue now because I can't wear lighter blues. And since these are smoky, I'm sure this is going to be dark and pretty. And let's go ahead and, well, let me go ahead and check it out and see what that's going to do. Will it look like I got whooped? No! Oh my gosh, that is going to look so pretty. It's almost a charcoal gray. I don't know why I'm even bothering. Well, now you can kind of see it. It's kind of a charcoal gray. Here's kind of a eggplanty plum. And this doesn't even show up green. But they're awesome. They're nice and thick. They're not smudgy at all. They don't move. I like that. I just rub my finger across them and they don't move. I'm so glad I finally found them because I kept seeing you guys get them. And y'all were ticking me off, honestly, because I wanted some. Look at that. Look at that. Definitely going to need a makeup wipe. And I like that because you want your makeup to stay on your face all day. Uh, let's see. Oh, I found these also that I had seen you guys hauling. Now I've gotten lucky and found some uh, Melania eyeshadows. I'm not big on the glitter at all, but this color was so pretty. I don't know what's coming over me. I'm becoming very girly with the pink. Um, I mean, pink is a gorgeous color, don't get me wrong, but I've never been one to gravitate towards it, but oh, are you kidding me? How can you not love that? It's a lot of shimmer, and I've said before, at 41, I really don't have any business playing around with shimmer, but I think it'll be nice around the corners of my eye or maybe uh, right along the crease, just for a little boom. And then that one is in the Girls Love Pink, and then this one is so nude and so pretty. And I think once it's applied, it's just going to look like a little glitter base because it's very, very uh, light. It's called Beach Sand. Oh, and that is what it looks like. And there's that one. That pretty. So pretty. Just a nice natural little color. Grab those, and I had seen you guys hauling those too, and I hadn't seen them in a while. I got some different colors oh, a while back, but I'm glad I found those. And then again... Um, I found books, uh, Cloudland, a crime novel, self-explanatory, somebody dies and they got to figure it out. And the family fang, this one sounded a hoot because the parents are, um, artists, but the, the visual art and, and, and it's the story of this family and how they grew up with avant-garde parents and it sounded funny so i know that's hardly any description but man you guys y'all need to see the stack of dollar tree books that i have collected and i'm reading them but and it's way smaller than it had been but it's on the side of my bed it's so tall now i use it as a nightstand that's how tall my dollar tree books are but i've not been disappointed by any of them and then the last thing i found the last thing i see at the bottom of my bag is a bonnie bell lip blush and this is in a very pretty 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 pink i'm telling you what's going on with me in pink lately it looks like a lip balm is it a lip balm lip blush serenity strawberry oh it smells like strawberry too there's the color i'm not gonna swatch because what's the point but it looks very true to color right there i hadn't seen these before and i went ahead and grabbed one this is the only color they had actually and um I know color won't be able to show, but let's check. Very, very creamy and no color. Well, I'm glad I only bought one. Can y'all even tell where I have it? Y'all can see the shiny. Very, 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 oh, it's a little sticky. I'll do a review on this later if you guys are interested. If you guys have bought them and you like them, it doesn't feel too, too sticky, but it's very, very, sheer there is absolutely no color on it so i guess it's going to be used more as a lip balm yeah even when i wipe it you don't see much of anything but anywho i'm glad i only picked up one then but it'll be good to keep in my purse for when i feel my crocodile lips acting up so that was my dollar tree haulage now i'm going to jump into my 99 cent only because i'm starving and like i said some of this stuff i'm going to end up using 
for um, dinner. Some of this stuff are repurchases, like the Guerrero corn chips. Love them. I'm thinking about making the boys nachos, but with the ground beef and the beans and a heartier nacho than just cheese and chips. I got two more of these in the chocolate and the lemon because I am loving them. These are so freaking awesome. <sighs> These are addictive and I, I could have bought way more bags than this, but I won't because the last ones I bought didn't last long at all. I'm trying to behave myself with those, but it's really hard because they're so good. Um, oh, the bag. Let me show you guys the bag I picked up. It's Olaf. And uh, the reason I picked it up is because Dallas has enacted this five cents of plastic bag at all grocery stores. Anywhere that packs up your stuff in plastic bags, it is now, um, they're now charging you five cents per plastic bag. Um, I live in a suburb outside of Dallas, but I do a lot of my shopping in Dallas. And I know it's only five cents, but that just upsets me. Why are you going to charge me five cents? Now, the dude who enacted it, our commissioner, whatever, said because he felt it would cut down on the littering. There's plastic plastic bags and trees and fences, and it's causing to the litter problem in Dallas. Honey, we got bigger issues in Dallas than plastic bags and trees, but I digress. I'm saying I'm not paying no five cents a bag. Um, so I take these with me, and I came across this one, and I love Olaf, so I grabbed that one. And let me show you all the rest of the stuff that's in here. I bought two of the big cans of Hunt's tomato sauce because I'm Mexican. And if I ain't making my own tomato sauce, uh, I'm cooking with tomatoes or um, I need tomato sauce. We use it a lot up in this house. And I thought this was a really good size for 99 cents. I found this. It's Kraft Mayo Hot and Spicy Flavored Mayonnaise. I tasted it. It tastes incredible. And the reason I bought it was because I wondered when I saw it if it tasted like this awesome sauce on these baked mussels that I get um, at this restaurant that I absolutely love. They bring you a platter of these awesome baked mussels and they have like this mayonnaise cheesy sauce that I've tried to recreate in my house and I've never gotten it right. Well, be danged. I saw this and I thought, hmm, I wonder. So I tasted it. That's what it is. It's a spicy mayonnaise on those mussels at this restaurant that I love. So it made me want mussels, which is what I'm going to cook for dinner tonight. I'm going to make a little muscle and uh pasta dish if you guys are interested y'all can watch that soon but yeah it's a craft mayo it's due to expire in march so i need to use it fast but it is so good guys it's it's hot but not so much where it's gonna ruin your meal i picked up uh six of these in different flavors because i told you guys that's my little dude's um water intake i won't show you all six but there they are if you haven't tried those um and you like flavored waters, go ahead and try them. I feel it has a little bit of an aftertaste of that sweetener, which I'm not really, really geeked out over, but when they're chilled, they're really, really good. And then I picked up the Nest, Nest Tea Liquid Water Enhancer, trying to get my little dude to drink more water. He loves tea, and I figure I can, you know, make it as strong or weak as I want, because I don't trust caffeine. I don't know if you guys know if I've told you I have a wonky kidney. And I have to be really, really careful with the things that I drink and eat because caffeine literally can cripple me. If I drink too much soda, which is my addiction, or too much sweet tea, I'm Texan. That's another addiction. If I drink too much of it without following it with like a water back, a water shooter, I can literally not be able to get out of bed because my kidney seizes. TMI? Sorry. Uh, yeah, it's a problem I've had forever, but... That's the whole point of my saying I need to control the caffeine in tea and that type of thing. I even water down his soda, my little one, on occasion when he does drink soda because if it's hereditary, I don't want that happening to him. But anywho, this is the second bag I picked up to avoid paying the five cents a bag. It's frozen. And in here are some fun things. Um, these were not a dollar. They were a dollar ninety nine. But I, they are, they're so neat. Okay, first off. They're, they're these, can you, they're slippers. And look, it has a little buckle. So it looks like a shoe with a little buckle. And I tried them on and they're snug and comfy. 
and they fit so nice on my foot and if my legs weren't fuzzy i'd try them on just so you could see how they fit on the foot they are so cute they even have a little button and they have the little gripper pads on the bottom and these were a dollar 99 but very cute very comfortable and if i don't keep my feet warm in the winter time i get foot cramps of the devil so as much as I dislike wearing socks around the house, I have to when it's cold because I won't, I won't survive it. Then I got these lilac and purple ones. I just thought they were so cute with that little button. Adorable. And I found these and I thought these were awesome for $1.99. It's these scarves with a necklace. So you can wear them. It's like infinity scarves. So you could wear them. I'm not even sure if i'm doing this right at the moment uh you can wear them like a scarf and you can adjust to have the um uh, the jewelry show oops can you see that isn't that pretty i love these and the patterns were awesome and they were $1.99 and i kept going back and forth back and forth because i definitely would have bought a whole lot more but i have a drawer full of scarves that i've thrifted but look at that isn't that gorgeous that's one of them. And I only bought two. I was really, really good. But these colors just really grabbed me. This one, the detail is pearl and link. And look at the colors. These are so pretty. Look at that. I love them. These are so good for spring when it's like right now when they're still a little chill in the air. But um, I wanted to show you guys that. And those are my pickups right now. I'm going to go. My water is boiling. Um, I'm going to go start dinner because I'm starving. And uh, I'm going to put this into use. And maybe not this one because I have a smaller can in there that I'm going to use. But it's a very, very simple recipe. I just haven't made it in a while. And I had some leftover pasta. And it's cold. And it's just the perfect weather for this type of food. So if you guys are interested, I will see you guys in my next video um until then thanks for watching i hope you guys are having an awesome weekend uh stay safe stay warm stay happy and i will talk to you guys soon bye